All right, so I have the server.js file. I'm under a tight deadline for my job and I need to deliver this API that allows my application, my users to create notes and delete notes and update notes. So I'm gonna use this AI that's gonna help me do this. It's called Codium and it's an extension in VS Code. And so I'm gonna tell it in, via the Codium command what I needed to do. So please create a simple Node.js application that allows users to create, update, delete notes. This should be production ready because again, I'm under this tight deadline here. And most importantly, I need it to be secure because otherwise I'm gonna be fired, okay? So we're deploying this in the real world. My job is to ensure it's 100% safe from any security issues. Please take it seriously, AI. Help me out here. We need to get this done quickly. So I click on submit and boom, it's generating this code for me. This is awesome. It's using MongoDB. Okay, we can set up that up and get that going. Um, we got, it's using promises there. It's using helmet, which is great. A lot of helmet features that are security related ones. So it is taking that into consideration. What else do we have? Okay, this seems good. This seems okay to me. I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna tell, all right, let's accept this. Right, assume it works. I obviously I need to install this stuff, but I want to make sure it's safe first. So I'm going to use sneak extension to double check that and boom, it already tells me that I have six vulnerabilities found. There's three, four, five, six high severity vulnerabilities. We have a no SQL injection going on here. So it's just blindly accepting user input in from the request parameters and passing that into the no SQL queries. Great. So now I'm fired. All right, so I didn't really get fired, but even telling the AI that I, it's really important that things are secure and yet it's still generated vulnerable code demonstrates the problem with using AI coding tools. We should definitely use them to help accelerate our workflow, but we need to be a little bit more cautious when using it and just blindly accepting the results of them. And we demonstrated this previously in another video on the Sneak YouTube account. If you haven't checked out that video yet, you can head on over to the channel here from where you're watching this video and look for the GitHub Copilot makes you vulnerable and you'll see my ugly mug. And you can check out details on how Copilot introduced a SQL injection vulnerability into a Java-based application in that example. But for this video, we're focusing on another tool called Codium that you just saw. This is a free AI code completion tool that's available in various areas, but we're using it in Visual Studio Code via their extension. You sign up for an account with them and you install the extension in Visual Studio Code and you're good to go. Instead of via the chat though, I use their command approach, which is Control Shift P or Command Shift P if you're on Mac OS. Codium command, and then you type in what you want it to do. Another quicker way that I've since learned is you can use the keyboard shortcut Control I or Command I on Mac OS. In that case though, it generated this vulnerable code and we're up to six vulnerabilities. I'm using the sneak extension, which you can also get on the VS Code Marketplace and sign up for an account there. And we can see that it introduced six vulnerabilities within the code itself. No SQL and then some cross-site scripting ones even too, which makes it super interesting to me because again, well, there it is, more unsanitized input that we're just blindly accepting user input and then rendering it to the output. So this is yet another data point and yet another tool to demonstrate the need for security tools like Sneak to analyze the output from this, these AI tools that you might be using for your projects and make sure that you are indeed staying safe and secure. Now, when there are vulnerabilities being introduced, whether it's from your own code or AI generated code and you're using Sneak, in some cases you can actually use Sneak's deep code AI feature to generate a fix for you so that you don't have to necessarily know everything about how to fix it and spend a lot of time doing that. You can leverage what Sneak offers via the deep code AI functionality, as we see here, generate fix using Sneak. All right, so let's give it a shot. Let's try letting Sneak generate a fix for us here. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna analyze the code and it's gonna give us some solutions. We have four AI solutions. We're gonna run with this one though, and just say, apply that fix. And when we do that, we can see it changed res.send to res.json. And now Sneak is rescanning and we can see we went from five vulnerabilities down, or from six vulnerabilities rather, down to five one less cross-site scripting vulnerability in there. So that's a really nice feature to have in these cases, especially when you're using AI generated code. Give the AI the benefit of the doubt and let's try a couple more times to see if it can indeed generate some safe code for us. Maybe it just messed up on this first try. It's a new developer. We're gonna delete this code and we're gonna tell it with the same exact prompt again, generate that node web app. And let's see what kind of results we get. Let it finish doing its thing, we accept. Sneak's gonna scan. All right, we're down to one issue. Much better, it's improving. Now it's just the cross-site request forgery one, which in this case, it wants us to set up probably, let's, well, let's see what fix it generates for us here. 
and make it a little bit smaller so you can see. Oh yeah, we wanna use the CSurf module or package and then set the cookie true. All right, let's give this AI one more chance to see if it can generate code without any vulnerabilities whatsoever. So I'm gonna delete this. This will be our last try. It is improving, so maybe it'll improve all the way and I can keep my job. I like that it's using Helmet. It's using a lot of the functionality on Helmet that are security features, even setting up a content security policy. That's great to see. Assuming that we're using get Google Analytics, which is interesting. Sneak is gonna scan the code and hopefully, ah, we still have one. Oh no, we have four. We have no SQL injection, so it went backwards now. So it had like, what, five steps forward and now four steps backwards. So you can see the results may vary from time to time and you're not always gonna get the best options, the best output from these AI coding tools. So hopefully that helps you out and encourages you to be more cautious when using AI. And look, AI tools like Codium and Copilot, which we've demonstrated in this video series, are absolutely amazing. Personally use them all the time and you should too. The only thing you need to know though, is that just like human generated code, security is important. If you're not careful and don't use a security analysis tool, you're asking for trouble. So go try out Sneak and be safe out there. That does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with someone who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy safe coding everyone.